WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very beautiful, sunny, pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. Dow's up 76, S&P 4. NASDAQ is up 2. Russell's off 8. Semis are up 21. Tranny's up 22. Gold's off 8 bucks. Silver's up 21 cents. Slight's recruit is back a buck. Natural gas is off 4 pennies. And the 30-year treasury's down 2 points, printing out, printing out 114.07. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side we've got an a to b equals cd to the downside now the price projection here is 51.43 on friday we got down to a low of 51.50 is that close enough well we don't have to worry about whether it's close enough or not because in order to confirm this pattern, you need a bullish reversal candle. If we take a look at the spot volatility right now, it's still trading above its 50-day exponential moving average. That always provides fits for the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ still has a TD9 count bottom. We have seen a series of, so far, three higher lows out there. However, if we check below yes, a Friday's low out there at the 18-1-2025 level, well, we won't be able to say that same thing, but it does have a bottom that is in place as we speak, if you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, trading at A to B equals CD to the upside. You can see along that C to D leg, price is on the left-hand side. That tells us that price should do more than a one-to-one -one A to B pattern. One-to-one -one is 106.53. with The 1.272 expansion is 107.32. If we take a look at Goldilocks out there, gold is forming or is attempting to form a new profile out there. Uh, that profile level? Uh, resistance at 2400 even Stephen support at 2318 if we take a look at silver also attempting to form a new profile we will not have confirmation on these profiles until this evening but at the moment they're pretty solid so you've got support in silver between 2745 and 2780 and you've got resistance at 2885 out there the cool thing about those new profiles if price closes below the bottom of those should they in fact take hold that'll tell us we've got at least a change in trend at least on the daily time frame if we take a look at light sweet crude it still has got that TD9 count top, which was tested on Friday and rejected. This morning, we've got support being tested, and that's the bottom of its bullish structured profile. That buy zone is between 84.09 and 84.80. Natural gas is testing its roads momentum indicator bottom. That's down at about 1.686. A close below that would suggest we had lowered. The 30-year Treasury, a close below 114.29 today, negates its buy the D point pattern. But there's a larger A to B equals CD pattern that's out here. And price right now is just about to get to that area, 113 and change out there. So even if we do get a negated by the D point pattern, you'd be looking for the next bullish reversal candle to confirm the same. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Monday, have a magnificent, marvelous one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.